All right, let's try two more. So the first thing you want to observe is what? You notice that this parabola is going to open upward or downward. And what, what about the equation tells you that? Yes, so this one is going to open downward. And then we need some of those other features, right? We want probably the vertex. So the vertex, we start with the axis of symmetry. X equals negative B over 2A. What's A and what's B? Negative 6, right? So go ahead and tell me what am I going to plug in here? Negative, negative 6 is 6 divided by 2 times negative 1. And that's going to be 6 divided by negative 2 which is negative 3. So the axis of symmetry is going to be right over here at x equals negative 3. And then from there, we want to have the vertex. So if I plug in f of negative 3, I'm going to get negative, negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3. So that's negative 9. Do you see why I'm getting a negative 9 from? Plus 18. And what's negative 9 plus 18? 9. So the vertex is negative 3, 9. Does that make sense that it would be negative 3, 9? It would be all the way up here. And that makes sense because the parabola opens downward. So let's plot and label. Because on your on your exams it will say plot and label. A lot of people will plot and then they won't label. And it's like, but it said plot and label. Okay, what about the x-intercepts? What's the x-intercept of this? What would I do? Set the equation equal to zero and solve. Solve by factoring. Okay, so did you guys know that right here you can divide both sides by negative 1? That's because you can do whatever you want so long as you do the same thing to both sides when you're solving an equation. So here you get x squared plus 6x equals 0. And if we want to factor that, what do you notice? It's kind of a weird one, but what's the very first number one rule of factoring? You always have to look for a and what is the greatest common factor? So we factor out an x and we get x plus 6 equals 0. So can anybody tell what my two intercepts are going to be? x equals 0 for this one and x equals negative 6. And if you look, here's my axis of symmetry was x equals negative 3. Here's negative 6 and here's 0 over here. So 0, 0 and negative 6, 0. What is the y-intercept? 0, 0. The y-intercept and the x-intercept are the same. OK, so this is opening downward. So we basically have a line, or not a line, but a curve going like this through those two points. OK, you'll draw it a little more accurately than I will. And you can also, um, like again, we could use the graphing calculator to punch it in, make sure that it looks right, and check all of those points, the same way we did on that last example. OK, let's go ahead and look at the next one. So the first thing we're going to look at is which way is the parabola opening? Yeah, opens upward. What's the axis of symmetry? What do I plug in for that? x equals, yeah, and so that's going to be negative 2 over 2 times 1. What's that? x equals negative 1. So over here, x equals negative 1. That's our axis of symmetry, correct? And then how do we find the vertex? I'm going to save us a little bit of time. Second quit. We're going to plug in negative 1. So negative 1 
squared. I don't know if actually this is saving time. Plus 2 times 1 is, or 2 times negative 1, sorry, is negative 2. What am I doing? Negative 2. I just went ahead and multiplied it. Minus 8. When in doubt, it's always negative 9. Just kidding. It's not always true. Okay, so our vertex here is negative 1, negative 9. Who can tell me what the y-intercept is? The y-intercept is another easy point to find. Can you just see it by looking at the equation? Who sees the y-intercept? When x is 0, what's left? Negative 8. So here we have 0, negative 8 is the y-intercept. And then how do we find the x-intercepts? x-intercepts set y to 0, x squared plus 2x minus 8. We want to factor that. x, x. Two numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to 2. Negative 2, positive 4. And so what are your x-intercepts? and negative 4. Okay, so 2 is here, negative 4. Are they symmetrical around the axis of symmetry? Can you tell me another point that's symmetrical with the y-intercept? It'd be right over on the other side, right? So negative 2, negative 8 would be a symmetrical point. And now we connect our dots and draw our shape. What is the shape called? Parabola. Okay. So now we're going to have you try a few on your own from the activity.